hi there welcome back to build custom room uh, series so in this episode we will be seeing how to build the uh, establish the build environment so it is important that you will be having the environment to build the custom room usually uh, we use the uh, Linux distributions to build the custom room if you have a Mac you can use it you can't I guess it is it is a little bit hard to use it in the Windows so we need Linux distribution and it is advisable to use the Ubuntu distribution for the Android development so the configuration is uh, uh, depends upon your uh, machines uh, efficient or machines power so my machine currently have Ryzen 5 3500U which is a decent powerful machine and but my machine only have the 8GB of this uh, RAM so I can't build the ROM in my machine in the base machine so I have to move to cloud in order to build the custom ROM so in my case I'm using cloud uh, Google Cloud Plus form in called as gcp so the best part is uh, google is providing the one year of uh, one year of trial currently i'm having it so from this is from this only i just started to learn the uh, learn about the custom room uh, development so right now it is about to end so i thought okay we'll uh, we'll explain uh, some other things on this one so you can uh, get the uh, free one year of uh, one year of $3,300 uh, uh, credit by visiting uh, GCP trial something like that you can put and you will be having this one so he can you can start here for free uh, you need to uh, give your credential and uh, gmail credential and you need to add your uh, credit card details to get it uh, uh, get the free trial so it, they will detect one rupee something uh, to check the while it is actually uh, active uh, working credit card or not so I just made the, all the initial process and now I have the account so from here I am going to start the um, uh, development but if your machine is uh, like uh, having a 20 GB uh, RAM or 32 GB which means most, most uh, more than uh, 16 GB you are good to go you can uh, do the uh, building in your own machine uh, so if you are having it you are having Windows you can use some virtual machines for virtual virtualization in your offline PC or base machine you can use the vm virtual box from oracle so i use this most of the time uh, to learn about coding and all i use this ubuntu so now how to do this thing first head over to ubuntu site before that i would recommend you to visit the source.android.com which i mentioned in my first video so type sws build environment android from there you can uh, get this view it will show how to establish your environment and all and which is the important uh, things you need to install on your machine so the required package here it is showing 18.04 which i am going to use and also you can use 16.4 which is like normal the 14.4 they are recommending but some procedures are a little bit outdated or uh, different when comparing to 18.4 so I would recommend you to use 18.4 Ubuntu which is Bionic Beaver so here you can read all this uh, installation changes so you shouldn't be having a iso file here we have it is like 2 gb or something you can download this file i already have it so i'm not doing it 
once you have the file you just open the uh, VM virtual box you can download the virtual box from Oracle virtual box I would recommend you to download the plugin as well it will ask for the plugin so virtual host just click this one and it will start downloading and click next 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 you will get this one so once you have this screen just go to file or uh, click new here and you can set the virtual machine as ubuntu new and next you can set the ram size which you want here i can set like 5 gb for example i'm just setting to 512 mb and then you have this one uh, do not add create virtual this one that's up to you so here it is showing uh, 10 gb but so this one will automatically extend whenever you the size will get increased so usually one if you are building one room uh, the room size will be like uh, 120 gb something like 80 gb after the extraction and all it will comes like 100 gb nearly more than 100 uh, it will be it is uh, important that you will be having like 300 to 500 gb for one uh, for building one custom room so i recommend you to have 500 uh, gb so um i don't have much space actually in my machine so i can't actually build it i'm just showing how you can do it in your machine so just create export dynamic allocation fixed allocation so if you put dynamic allocation whenever the space is getting increased it will dynamically allocate the size which is seems good but it will consume some extra energy or something so if you put the fixed size it doesn't have any code run or any code or something it will be like fixed for this custom room so if you have any high um, capacity in your storage uh, free space you can go with the fixed size and give the size and you can create your virtual machine after you credit after you creating it it will be like this one you need to go here or settings here you can go to a uh, storage okay so once you get into the storage go to controller IDE and MT just click there here you just select the uh, this one and choose the disk file here i have this file you can click and open and click ok so next time you start it it will ask you for the ubuntu installation part i'm not going to do that i will show you this is the same procedure like uh, cloud so i will show you in the cloud so you can follow here as well the best thing i would suggest here also is alexa linux user you can visit to Alexa Linux user and he he have some uh, server grade machine with him he made uh, multiple times about uh, creating a virtual machine I will put the link in the description you can check it and create a offline virtual machine my main part here is uh, most of the people will won't be having that uh, server level machine so I will show you how to create the virtual machine with the GUI so once you get into this one wait in the home screen it will looks like this so you just click the navigation menu and compute engine and VM instance we are going to create a virtual machine from here you need to click here create new instance so we are going to create new instance click here now we are going to give the name for this machine I am giving techfancius techfancius1 ok 
so uh, these regions and zones and all having like uh, different zones will be having different costs and different performance uh, if you want a performance you can uh, set near to the region near to the region which you are living if it is india you can set it to china there is no region china okay whichever is in asia you can select or else if you are cost effect it is important that you will select the us central mostly these european uh, regions and all will be having a high efficiency or high performance so we don't want that one now so the general purpose it is e2 that is fine and i always recommend you to go with uh, custom deployment maybe e2 and custom just select as custom and set the core as 8 core ram is 16 okay you can set 32 that's up to you but in this case it is fine for me it takes some time like uh, six hours maybe longer than that but it is fine because we uh, whenever uh, this whenever you use the multiple cores and multiple memory it also cost much so i am going with this and after that here this is the part where you need to select your OS. so here i'm just selecting change and uh, i'm checking as uh, ubuntu and ubuntu 18.4 lts long term okay so i um, can use the ssd for this one but we'll go with standard i am using the 500 gb so 500 GB is uh, in a no, is fine or uh, it is more than enough to build one custom ROM. So for example, I am just showing it. If you are building multiple uh, ROMs, it is important that you will have some higher storage options. So here I am just selecting 500 GB. So we have 18.4 500 GB persistent disk and 8 core CPU and 16 GB of memory in us region and i am allowing both the http and https traffic so that i can access it from the outside of the g cloud okay so once we have it just uh, just create the instance in future part also you can just uh, what you can just uh, make some changes in the uh, CPU and RAM so this is my machine which I was using uh, to build the custom room here I'm just whichever I created now it is showing here you also can see here okay if I click that it will show the capacity and also here I'm using 8 GB in this one 16 GB So now we have our virtual machine running, it is currently running. So whenever it starts running, it will cost. So it is important when you done with your work, you just go here and stop your instance or else it will cost you. Um, so also the storage option costs you like if you are having 500 GB of storage, it will cost you every day like 25 to 30 rupees or something like that so if you don't have any work and you don't even need your uh, machine it is important to delete the machine so once you have the machine once you start the machine you will be having sssh ssh so this is one of the uh, way from where you can connect your machine so these are uh, not the gui user uh, graphical user interface these are common prompts uh, from you need to Put the comment and then you need to start building it which i which is not uh i would say it's it's the best learning part but 
when when you see it from the uh, beginner perspective it is like little bit harder sometimes to get edit the content for some pages or copy to copying some other uh, files from one folder to another it is little bit harder to keep track of those things but it is easy if you know the comments to get through the cmd so now i am opening it so this is the external ip which is really important to make the connection from the outside of outside of third party applications so now our virtual machine is running